Bringing on an investor is kind of like dating. <laughs> it's crazy, like I felt a little like I was on The Bachelor. Hi, I'm Jen Atkins, celebrity hairstylist and founder of Way Hair Care and MeAndAddicts.com. I did not always consider myself an entrepreneur, but growing up, in, like in hindsight, I realized like I was the girl who started like the Babysitters Club after I read the books. I don't think it really like came into play until I really started the line. I have always been so confident and passionate about what I wanted to do. I wanted to be the first to create a community-driven hair care brand and really use social media to help create products. The early days away really looked a little similar to how it is now. <laughs> the first day was insane. Like I can still remember my phone blowing up and the numbers for way, like our follower count, just going beyond what I ever imagined. To have that community support was just like, it meant the world to me and it was incredible. I also was really scared. I went to bed that night literally like, oh my God, this is happening. When I first started Way, everyone was kind of asking me like, are you gonna be a direct to consumer? Cause that was kind of the buzzword at the time. This is 2016. Or, you know, are you gonna do brick and mortar? And I really felt like I wanted to do both. So we launched on our own site, but we also launched with Sephora. It's been really incredible for us because Sephora has allowed us to be able to go internationally. That's the one thing I was really naive about at the beginning. Social media made it so there was no borders, no boundaries. So somebody who you know saw a post from the U.S. that you know they live in Asia and from England and from Dubai, and so those retail partners have made it so we can scale at a pace that we never could have on our own. Taking on investment is a really interesting kind of like learning curve. Bringing on an investor is kind of like dating. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I felt a little like I was on The Bachelor because you're sitting there sitting with, you know, mostly men and it can be quite intimidating. So I think as a woman who dropped out of college is a creative, is a hairstylist, I'm like a celebrity influencer adjacent. So when I went into those meetings, I knew that I had information and insight into this whole new world of communicating with consumers. I had to really like give myself a few pep talks, but I went into those meetings feeling really good about my worth and my value. If I were to like look into my crystal ball, um, I honestly feel so inspired that like the sky is the limit. You know, I really never would have imagined that we'd be doing like body and hair products and that we would be in the fragrance category, like really truly like playing in the fragrance category. I love the idea of us really growing with our community. Our community is mostly 18 to 35 years old and there's so many needs that you have as you hit certain milestones in your life. And so I think we started off in hair care and helping to get you know our, our customer like out of the door quickly. And I think that there's so many different categories we can expand in. And I'm really you know inspired and excited about where we're gonna go.